Hello friends. In this video, we will talk about operators. It is a type of token. In school, we have studied some of the operators. Let us say 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. Plus is an operator which acts on two operands 2 and 3 to give the answer. If we write 2 plus 3 into 4, the answer is 14. Why multiplication is being applied first over addition, even though it appears later in the expression since multiplication has the highest precedence. Similarly, in C programming language, we have 15 types of operators. Operate precedence number 1 is the highest precedence, 15 is the lowest precedence. There is something called as an associativity. If suppose there are two operators of the same precedence, associativity is used to resolve the type. L to R means from LHS to RHS in expression, R to L means RHS to LHS in expression. Now we will study each of these operators in detail. The next operator which we will study is the increment operator. The symbol is plus plus. What does it mean? It means go to the next number or add one to the given variable. It can only be applied on variables, it cannot be applied on constants. There are two types of increment operator. The first one is the pre-increment, the second one is the post-increment. Let us see what does the pre-increment means. Pre-increment means the operator plus plus is before the operand. Say for example x is equal to 5 and we say y is equal to plus plus x. Now here the plus plus is appearing before the operand x therefore it is called as pre-increment. How does it work? First the incrementation takes place. Therefore the value of x will become 6 and this 6 is copied back to y and the value of y will also become 6. Let's take the second example. x is equal to 5 and if we write plus plus x the value of x will become 6. It is not mandatory to assign the answer to some variable. The second type of increment operator is the post increment operator. What is post increment? The operator plus plus appears after the operand. Let's take an example. x is equal to 5, y is equal to x plus plus. How does it work? First the assignment takes place. x is copied to y. Therefore the value of y will become 5. Next the incrementation takes place. The value of x will become 6. Let's take the second example. x is equal to 5 and we say x plus plus. The value of x will become 6. Here one thing we can observe, if we do not assign the answer to some variable, the final answer remains same, but the internal implementation of pre-increment and post-increment changes, pre-increment is little bit faster than post-increment. Let's take some example, if I write 4 plus plus, it is an error because increment operators cannot be applied on constants. Similarly, plus plus 4 is error. The next type of operator we will study is the decrement operator. The symbol is minus minus. It means go to the previous number. It is also a unary operator. It means it acts only on one operand. It can only be applied on variables, not on constants. There are two types of decrement operator. The first one is pre-decrement. The second one is the post-decrement. Let us see what is pre-decrement. Pre-decrement means the decrement operator appears before the operand. Let us say x is equal to 5 and y is equal to minus minus x. This minus minus appears before the operand, therefore it is called as pre-decrement. How does it work? First the decrementation takes place. The value of x will become 4 and 4 is copied back to y. Value of y will also become 4. If we say x is equal to 5 and minus minus x, x becomes equal to 4. It is not mandatory to assign to some variable. The second type of decrement is the post decrement. Let's take an example y is equal to 5, y is equal to x minus minus. Here minus minus appears after the operand, therefore it is called as post decrement. How does it work? First the assignment takes place, value of y will become 5 and then the decrementation takes place, value of x will become 4. If x is equal to 5 and if we write x minus minus, the value of x becomes 4 and again we can observe if we do not copy the value to some other variable, the final answer would remain same. If we write 4 minus minus, it is error because it cannot be applied on constant. Similarly, minus minus 4 is error. 
The next operator that we study is the modulo operator. The symbol is percentage. It means it gives the remainder when a numerator is divided by the denominator. It can only be applied on integers. There are some rules. A modulo b is equal to a if mod a is less than mod b. And we have to take always the sign of the first number. If we write 8 modulo 5, the answer is 3. It means when 8 is divided by 5, what is the remainder that we get? If we write 5 modulo 5, the answer we get is 0 because 5 when divided by 5, the remainder is 0. If we write minus 8 modulo 5, first we solve 8 modulo 5 which is 3, then we take the sign of first number which is negative. If we write 8 modulo minus 5, we divide 8 by 5, the answer is 3 and we take the sign of first number which is positive. Similarly, if we write minus 7 modulo 10, the answer is minus 7 because a modulo b is equal to a if mod a is less than mod b. If we write 4.0 modulo 3, it is error or it is wrong because modulo operator cannot be applied on floating point numbers. Next we study about the division operator. There are some rules in C. Integer by integer is integer. Integer by real number is real number. It means any of the numerator or denominator is a real number. The final answer will be a real number. This rule applies for addition, subtraction and multiplication as well. It means real number multiplied by real number is a real number. Real number multiplied by integer is a real number. Integer multiplied by integer is a integer. Let's take some example. If I write 2 divided by 3, the answer we expect is 0.67. But 2 is integer, 3 is integer, 0.67 is not integer, it is a real number. We have to convert it to integer by truncating the decimal part. Therefore, 2 divided by 3 is equal to 0 in C. But if we write 2.0 divided by 3, the answer is 0.67. It is real number divided by integer is a real number. We see answer as real number. We keep it as it is. If we write 4.0 divided by 2, let us write the answer as 2. But real number by integer is a real number. 2 is not a real number. Convert it to real number as 2.0. Thanks for watching this video. And in the next video, we will see how do we convert a decimal number to binary and binary to decimal that is how the numbers are represented in computer. Thank you.